Yeah, I'll be doing a full-fledged YouTube video on this. Uh, I'm not going to do it because that dude is calling people out. I think that that's kind of tacky. I'm going to do this because right now in my life, um, you know, I'm getting tested for that anyways in terms of what my testosterone is. So I can't say lifetime, but I can't say lifetime, but I can't say lifetime, but. What's up guys, Derek, moreplacemoredates.com. Today we're going to be talking about Steve Cook coming out uh, and revealing his not lifetime natty status. So I feel like this should come as no surprise to anyone, but um, you know, there are a lot of people who, I don't know if he's ever claimed natural to be honest, and I feel like he kind of falls into that category of a guy who never just didn't speak about it on purpose because he didn't want to uh have the potential backlash of you know coming out and saying he's not natural but also didn't want to lie so he kind of fell in that middle ground spectrum and uh um feels like he's it sounds like he's actually going to come out and make a video addressing it now but it's like realistically this guy's in his 30s if you're in your 30s and you're not looking at exogenous androgen replacement at that point. Like, you're just doing your body a disservice. It has nothing to do with being performance enhancing or not. It has to do with longevity, vitality, and just overall quality of life. And, you know, are you going to let yourself, you know, diminish and fall apart just because just because you don't want to be not have natty status. Like to me, it seems kind of ridiculous for any, like I would highly, I would bet money that anybody in the fitness industry that's over, you know, close to 35 or over is probably on TRT. If not has been, you know, using super physiological amounts already for years and years and blast phases. So for my assumption is this video he comes out with is, going to be addressing his age and in terms of, oh, you know, optimization of hormones when you're in your 30s is important and blah, blah, blah. And that's why I use whatever he uses, probably test. Um, but I think it's pretty obvious, you know, he's cycled with, who knows if he's like, uh, I, my assumption is he's probably blasted and cruised for 10 plus years at this point. And you don't just walk around at 215, 9, 10% body fat without using some sort of performance enhancing exogenous anabolic. So, um, you know, it doesn't come as any surprise to me. I guess we'll see what more details um, he elaborates on when he releases his video. But it's just funny because I literally have some friends, close friends of mine who know how this stuff works. They, they watch my content sometimes and you know, they take my advice, but like, they'll still ask me stuff like, do you think Steve Cook's natural? It's like, <laughs> it's like, bro, it's, it's so blatantly obvious when certain people are not natural that it's not even an argument. So, um, my assumption is he's probably on TRT right now. And I'm pretty sure that's, uh, that's my guess as to what his video is going to come out about. I'm sure in the past when he's prepped for competitions, he's pushed it above and beyond that and used, you know, like DHT derivatives and, uh, other, you know, non approved in clinical setting uh androgens to you know harden up and dry out for shows and get that really like grainy androgenic look um but you know with all that being said i don't think this should come as a surprise to anybody i don't think it's like a huge deal i don't think anyone should be making a big fuss about it in the first place because you know if you're in your 30s to begin with HRT is going to become more widely accepted in the future and it shouldn't even be looked at like, Oh, you're juiced. Like it's real. Realistically, it's, it's, uh, you know, a quality of life thing. So, and regardless if that gives you an edge in the gym or not, it's like, do you want to live a poor quality of life just so you can say you're natural? Like I wouldn't, I feel like he's probably gone a long time trying to not talk about it, but it's finally out in the open. And, uh, it really shouldn't be made a big deal of, but I guess when these guys have tried to closet their their natural status for like a decade, you know, they're, it does become a big deal to a lot of people who are fans of them because it creates unrealistic expectations. And even if that's in a TRT context, you can't get shredded and maintain hormones at 900 to 1,000 nanograms per deciliter unless you are on TRT. And we're... 
if he's gonna make that argument about how it's uh you know the equivalent to being natural when you're in your 30s like to me that's kind of ridiculous because it really isn't like so many things throw off your natural testosterone levels you go out and you do subpar diet for a day you get poor sleep you go drink or you're cutting you're not going to maintain that 900 to 1,000 nanogram level. And most people just genetically don't have it. So if you're on TRT and that's what you're walking around as, your 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 performance is enhanced, regardless if you want to claim you're in the reference range or not. So hopefully he uh, addresses that. Um, I don't really know. Maybe it's not even in a TRT context he's going to address, but that remains to be seen. As far as this whole Natty Verified movement, I'm going to do a more elaborate video on that, but... Um, I see so many downsides on how this is going to play out more so to do with, uh, the legitimacy of the results, because they literally are claiming that if you have skewed lipid profiles and, um, you know, LH, FSH, stuff like that, that stuff doesn't get skewed. If you've been off for it, you can restore that within short order after coming off of for even in weeks, honestly, maybe a few months, but depending on what you're using, but like most guys who are even literally on, if they're doing responsibly using and have decent genetics and have good diet, there, nothing is going to be skewed with the exception of their HDL might be a little low, but most people who are on point, the only thing that's going to be suppressed is luteinizing hormone, follicle stimulating hormone, and uh, some other sex hormones are going to be skewed a little bit, but those can be corrected quickly by cycling off. You're not going to see anything crazy by looking at red blood cell count, hematocrit. Like People donate blood for a reason. You're not going to find anything looking at lipid profiles if you have guys who are on top of their diet and don't abuse the hell out of gear. So for these uh, the Natty Verified Movement thing to claim that a blood, plan blood panel is going to prove anything... It really isn't, and especially for guys who have been off for even a few months. And then the detection of the compounds themselves, it sounds like they only have a sensitive test ready to go for testosterone for the most part. I don't know if the carbon isotope ratio test is going to detect all androgens or if it's just targeting testosterone because that's all they're going to be able to afford to go after specifically. But when it comes to myonuclei, when you take gear you can permanently increase the number of myonuclei in your muscles. And regardless if you've been off for 20 years or not, you still have that bank built up of myonuclei and which you can draw upon later in age or just, you know, currently, which gives you a performance enhancing advantage over somebody else who's natural and has never touched anything in their life. So, you know, to claim that they're going to be able to detect anybody who's used in the past. It simply isn't true. Like these compounds, the clearance time of them is way too short for some of these tests to be able to pick up for guys who've used in the past. And you're going to have guys that have used 10, 20 plus years ago who haven't used, who built up this bank of myonuclei, which they can then get a performance enhancing benefit out of, regardless of the fact if they've now, you know, transitioned their life into staying natural they've had a performance enhancing background in the past, which has enabled them to build up this storage, which is going to give them this performance enhancing benefit over other, you know, completely natural competitors or just natural athletes, I should say. So anyways, just my quick thoughts on it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll post that next video shortly in the next week or so. And, uh, please like subscribe, check out my blog, um, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, etc. Talk to you guys soon.